The Defense Ministry of the Islamic Republic of Iran has made mass delivery of new combat and surveillance drones, including a jet-powered multipurpose UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. The delivery of the homegrown surveillance drones was made in an official ceremony at the Iran Aviation Industries Organization IAIO, in Isfahan, attended by Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami and other senior military officials. The defense minister said in the ceremony that the multi-purpose jet powered UAV delivered to the army could travel at speeds of 900 kmph and conduct operations at an altitude of 12 kilometers. General Hatami said the drone can fly for up to 180 minutes and has a range of 1,000 kilometers. During the ceremony, a large contingent of Ababal 3 and Kara drones was also delivered to the Air Force. Referring to the Ababal 3 drone, Hatami said that the unmanned aerial vehicle is a medium-range surveillance craft capable of conducting airstrikes within a 150-kilometer radius. The minister also said that the Kara drone is a strategic combat drone which can deliver payloads comparable to manned aircraft. He went on to say that the drone has pinpoint attack capability and can be used in suicide attacks. The drones were delivered to the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran one day after the country marked the National Army Day. The drones were engaged in the pilotless operation, combat, interception, detection, surveillance and suicide bombing. The displayed UAVs, enjoying various kinds of combat and logistic multi-rotors, are capable of launching operations under electronic war conditions and are also equipped with jamming systems and deception radars. Ground quadcopters destroyed their surface target by releasing small bullets during the two-day drills. In addition, the application of unmanned tactical microbirds to identify and send images online to control and command centers was another mission of this exercise. Collective flight of drones using artificial intelligence was also performed. Iran's army has also tested a domestic suicide drone dubbed Arash for the first time in a military drill. The army also tested vertical takeoff drones capable of carrying lightweight bombs. The Ababal drones equipped with Almaz air to surface and precision guided missiles destroyed hypothetical surface targets during massive aerial drills as well. The Almaz missile which has been made by Iranian experts is able to destroy targets on the ground with great precision. The homegrown carrier class interceptor drone of Iran's Army Air Defense Force has carried out air interception operations and destroyed aerial targets with a low radar cross-section and at high altitude through firing an Azerich, Thunderbolt in Persian, air-to-air -air missile. This is the first time the missile is being used in a war game. The hypothetical targets were annihilated by carrier class drones carrying a 500-pound bomb. The destruction of surface targets, fortifications, and enemy positions with recurring drones, equipped with MK-82 bombs, was carried out. Monitoring and safeguarding the country's borders was also implemented through a variety of surveillance cameras, reconnaissance and electronic data collection systems. Iran's Army Chief Commander Major General Abdulrahim Massavi said on the second day of the exercise that the military drill is a warning to enemies to avoid any miscalculations. Only a small part of Iran's drone capabilities has been demonstrated in the drill, and the armed forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran are equipped with advanced drones, he added. He said that Iran determines the time and place of the hard revenge for the assassination of Lt. Gen. Soleimani, adding that the strategic goal of the hard revenge is to expel U.S. forces from the region. Iran has developed a large domestic arms industry in the face of international sanctions and embargoes barring it from importing many weapons. The Iranian military industry has also gained achievements in manufacturing drones whose all parts are produced by the army's ground forces. Many of them have the ability to evade detection by radar and can deal with a variety of targets. The Iranian army has conducted drone drills at a time of heightened tensions with the U.S. On January 4, 
President Donald Trump directed Acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller to return the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz and its carrier strike group to the Middle East, reversing Miller's decision to bring the carrier home. Due to recent threats issued by Iranian leaders against President Trump and other government officials, I have ordered the USS Nimitz to halt its routine redeployment," Miller said in a statement. Thank you.